I went to college. I was the first college graduate um, from my family. And so I went to college and I really intended to be a lawyer. I mean, that was kind of what I thought I would start out doing. And it was expensive and it was kind of difficult. And so I graduated from college, not really clearly knowing what I was going to do. Um, so I finished after my undergraduate and I kind of fell into, it was right when tech was getting started. I know that I'm, very, I'm actually that old. Um, and it was just kind of getting started. And so I took this technical writing job because I had student loans coming due, you know, in six months. And I didn't really know where that would lead me, but it was kind of the pattern of my life. It was the next thing. And from there, it kind of evolved. So I took a role um, actually working in a marketing team there on a, an online magazine that was called Cool Solutions. And so it was this magazine that was designed to be irreverent and humorous and yet provide kind of technical support. And so we did that, we had a ton of fun with it. And from there, a friend of mine who had moved to 3M called me and said, they want you to come and start a website here at 3M and do their intranet and their external website and, and will you come and do this? And so I interviewed and got the position. And, and so that was really kind of interesting because I actually had skills back then. Um, I had learned how to code in HTML and so I could build the websites and that would not be the case today, <laughs> so don't ask. But I, I kind of started it, so that was my move, and that was in marketing communications at 3M, and so that was kind of the shift from college and how I got into marketing. And I felt like that was like the first step of success because it was in the business side. I was like, yeah, finally I've made it into the business. And so as I did that job, it was really unique at 3M. In that particular division, the person who was in charge of marketing communications also sat on like the division operating committees, the executive committee for that. And the reason they sat there was they weren't a, like a real member, but there was a, they did all the strat plans in a narrative format at that time. So it was a written word document that was a narrative of your strategic plan. And so they had the marketing communications person sit on that throughout the year. So they'd really understand the business. So when it came time to do the strategic plan that you could write this and you'd have like all the skills, you know, without having to like reiterate or whatever. So I, I watched that and my manager left. She left. So the lady who had been doing this left and I thought that's that's the ideal job. I'll learn the business, I'll get connected to strategy, you get all this, you know, visibility 